Whoa. I can see its insides. Oh, it's it's actually going up on the screen. No, no, don't don't poo on me. Damn diarrhea monsters, I just want to learn about you. What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica. And you guys seem to really enjoy the first episode, which was just a huge relief to me. Because whenever I make one of these first episodes in a series, I really need to gauge interest in the community. And if interest isn't there, then I don't get to play it anymore. And it was there, and I really do want to play more because I do think this is a game that I'm gonna have probably the most fun playing on the channel moving forward. I'm really, really interested in this game. And I also ask you guys for a bunch of names because we have our life pod, we have our survivor, we have a voice in our head. We don't have any names, and like, I, I need to refer to things by name, I guess you would say, when I'm commentating. So you guys gave me a bunch of names, and I, I picked some of them, and I came up with some of my own. So for our survivor, I realized that we escaped in Life Pod 5. And I would assume that our survivor actually does have a name. We might even find it throughout the game. So I didn't want to give him a name name, so I think I'm going to name him 5. That seems like the kind of name you would give somebody with amnesia or like a silent protagonist, that kind of thing. And as for our life pod, it actually does have a name. It's called the Standard 2 Birth Emergency Life Pod, which is a mouthful, which I cannot use. And there's no good abbreviation for that. But I think I would just like to call it Bertha. You know, Birth Emergency Life Pod, this is going to be Big Bertha. And as for that annoying voice, which tells me I'm drowning all the time, some of you reminded me that I had a nurse in Surgeon Simulator that I called Karen, and she always bugged the shit out of me, and I always blamed everything on her, and I thought, you know what? Karen is a perfect name for that annoying damn voice. So, we have five, we have Bertha, and we have Karen moving forward, and we have a knife because I played a little tiny bit in my spare time. I know you guys don't want to miss out on a lot, but I wanted to gather resources so that I wouldn't be grinding all the time, and I needed a knife to uh, to gather some resources, so making a knife, you, didn't, you guys didn't miss anything. I picked up a couple pieces of titanium and I made a knife. That's really all there is to it. But other than that, we, uh, we're doing pretty much as well as we were when we left off. What do we got here? We got some, uh, some quartz. What are you? This is why I like having a knife. Oh, hi. Are you, you, you a knife ball or a crab? Can't tell. S slash you, would I kill you? Can I kill you? I think I can kill it. I think it's dead. Oh my God, I'm happy I killed it. Ugh. So moving forward, yeah, let's just kill anything that we're not sure of. The beauty of a knife. So, ooh, salt. We always need, always need salt. Ten seconds of oxygen. Ugh, Karen, I know, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm always drowning in this game. I'm never paying attention. Go, 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 go. Got there. Whew. So I think for this episode, we really just need to get crafting, you know? We need to get to surviving so that eventually we can kind of master our domain, we can build ships, we can build bases, we can start exploring the rest of the land. But for right now, I'm gonna stick in the safe shallows for a little bit and uh, just kind of figure out where I want to go from there. So maybe we can start crafting some stuff. Let's see, I do have a ton of material. I don't think I have enough for a rad suit, and I don't think I actually need the rad suit. When the Aurora blew up, I took damage but I'm not taking damage over time, and Karen hasn't been bugging me about radiation, so I'm guessing that it's mostly localized over by the Aurora, because the Aurora is way over there. Like, that, that's way in the distance. I'm pretty sure that's a really big ship, so we should be okay for the time being. I think I wanna focus on getting some gear. I'd like to get, like, some fins so I can swim faster and catch food and stuff like that. Uh, we have equipment. I have an O2 tank. We need fins. Um, what else could we get? Thermometer, no. Scanner, a handheld spectroscope scanner for recording atomic level information on targeted entities. So, I think, I think I use the scanner. Is it the scanner that I use? Yeah, I think I use the scanner for those things that I found. You guys remember I found a bunch of boxes last episode on the bottom of the sea, and there were like blueprints almost for things that I can build? If I have a scanner, then I can use that to kind of gain that information and add it to my library of stuff. Uh, welder can be used to fix things, a flashlight, survival knife, air bladder. Oh, okay, I can open that up and it'll bring me to the surface faster. That might be useful too. Habitat builder. So we can do some terraforming and a laser cutter. And deployables. Okay, so we're gonna focus on some smaller things. I have that, I want fins. So we need silicone rubber 
and and what else do I want? And a scanner, two titanium and a battery. Should be able to make that happen. So we need two things of silicone rubber and silicone rubber is made out of the creep vine clusters, I believe. So we're gonna head to a new biome today, which is exciting. And scanner, I need a battery. So I need copper and a mushroom. So we need to get copper, mushrooms. Ooh, nighttime. Why is, why is it always nighttime? Okay, we need to get mushrooms. It's interesting that when you when you drop stuff in the game, doesn't, oh, oh, whoa. Picked up acid mushroom spores. There's, there's that and then there's the right click. I used the wrong one. So, don't pop the acid mushrooms, they're bad. Some people were making fun of me because I said that you can eat the acid mushrooms and you could, you used to be able to eat the acid mushrooms. It was one of the easiest ways to survive because you could just eat like 50 of them and then you'd be good to go. I can understand why they would change that because, what the hell is that? Because, you know, acid, it's, it's not good for you, right? I wanna, I wanna get rid of my knife. What is this? Did we see this last episode? Nighttime approaches. Okay, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab you. Of oxygen. And we're gonna turn you into water eventually. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat something maybe. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit peckish, a little bit thirsty. I, uh, I do have some peepers, like I said, because I was spending a little bit of time, old cooked peeper. Yeah, we'll, we'll eat that. Okay, that'll be good. I, I did spend a little bit of time gathering resources and hunting for food and stuff. Oh, it's night. I don't wanna go there in the dark. Okay, we need to, I can't find anything at night. It is so dark in the ocean at night. It's funny because some of the life glows, which makes it just a huge target. But then, like, the rest of it is very difficult. What is this? Yeah, a sea glide fragment. So I guess a sea glide is a thing that I can build. And if I can get enough fragments, then I can build it. I'm also hurt because things don't like me in this world. Come here, come here. I can't, ima can't imagine why things don't like me here. I kind of want to name these two as well because they're just kind of near home base and uh, they're kind of frumpy looking. I really like them. Like, it's like a husband and wife. I need like male, female names for them. That's something you guys can suggest for the next episode, maybe. We'll, we'll give them a name because you know what? They're, they're my neighbors, they deserve a name. That is so freaking cool. Okay, we need to find, I see, I don't have any sense of direction and it's so freaking dark. We need to find the, uh, the cluster finds. Whoa, hey, hey guys. Oh, they're little boomerang fish. Yeah, I'm not gonna be getting them anytime soon. The peepers stand out as well. They're super creepy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, peeper. Oh, yeah, come here, come here. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you later. Okay, I think I found it. This this looks like the uh, the creep vine valley or whatever the hell I just called it. I can cut these. Picked up creep vine sample. Oh, I think these are the ones that I can eat. Right? Can I can I eat that? Mm, yes. Plus three food. Plus one water. Oh no. I think I just dropped them. Ah ah no no bad. Bad stalker, bad, bad stalker, get away. You slinky dolphin, you. Those are cool fish. What are you guys? You're gonna be way too fast for me to catch, aren't you? Yup, way too fast. Okay, we came for these anyway, so. Uh, creep vines, ow, 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 creep vine sample. Ow, why can't I, I, I keep nailing stuff with my knife. Did I just die? How'd I get back here? I died and I lost some stuff. How did, oh man, I hit the creep vine and it exploded and it hurt me. And I lost a bunch of my stuff. Man, that's fine. You know what, screw it. I'm apparently immortal. I'm, I'm good to go. Bertha is just gonna keep birthing me. Is that why it's called a birth emergency life pod? That is cool. I, I Why am I only just now getting that? <laughs> it makes total sense. Okay, so we're gonna just find our way back to wherever the hell we were and get a couple of those clusters because I need those to make rubber. What the hell is that? It's like a giant testicle. Oh God, it's making me lag too. What are you? What is this? A floater. Oh, 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 okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Why am I hurting? Why am I losing health? Oh, are you radiation? Oh shit, shit, shitty shit. Okay, okay, maybe that hurts. That makes sense now. Okay, you guys said I didn't need a radiation suit. I get it, Karen, shut up. Okay, so we're not gonna go anywhere near the Aurora. Nowhere near the Aurora. And I got this little testicle ball with me. I stole it from over there. You're gonna be mine now. Can I, can I stick you to my thing? I think I can. can I just, boop. There we go. You you keep her company, okay? You just you just hang out right there. God dang it, man! Everything everything wants to kill me in this world. 
Also, I will mention that I do appreciate people like trying to help. I know people see me start a new game and I instinctively you want to tell me all these things that I can do, but I don't want to know anything about a game that I start playing. You know, some people take it too far. They're telling me all these things that I'm going to find and describing all these creatures and stuff like that, and that completely ruins the game. It, it defeats the purpose of me playing because then I can't react to that kind of stuff. I can't experience it firsthand with you guys. I just read about it in a comment. So, like, never do stuff like that. If you ever see somebody watching a new TV show, going to watch a movie, um, like, any anything, starting a new game, they don't want to know about it from you. They want to experience that firsthand, so don't share it with them. I mean, people did give me some advice that I do appreciate. People said, you know, if you want to scan that stuff that you don't understand, then you need to get a scanner. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. You know, I, I tried it, and I couldn't do it, and you guys helped me understand something that I didn't understand in the episode, and that's helpful. But if you're going to describe, like, all of these great and wondrous things that I'm going to find later in the game and just kind of spoil it for me, then th that's no fun. Kind of de completely defeats the purpose. So now we have, um, we have clusters, right? Yes, we have enough clusters. I need to get copper for a battery. Uh, and then we should be good to go. Copper is really difficult to find, though. What? What the hell is this? I should not go down there. Found like the Earth's anus. Okay, yep, yep, we're gonna stay away from those farts. What are you? Oh my god, I got a Jar Jar Binks fish. I'm gonna eat you later too. So let's see here, I can make some silicone rubber. I love the fabricator, it's such a freaking cool idea. It's just awesome, it's straight out of Star Trek. How it just generates stuff in front of you, I'm gonna make all the rubber I can. Because I don't think I'm going to need those creep vine things for anything else. I need to make a battery. Battery, battery, battery. It's probably in something like this, isn't it? Oh, no, I can make my fins. Yeah, okay, now we're swimming faster. All those fish are going to be mine in my belly. Now we need to make a battery. Benzene battery. There we go. Little tiny pack of batteries. All right, and now equipment scanner. Titanium. I have titanium over here. I've, I've been storing some minor things that I may need. So we're gonna take that. I can eat this, can't I? Rotten creep vine sample. No, do not want to eat that. That's another thing that they've changed since I started playing the game way, way back was stuff goes bad now. So if you cure something, I don't think it goes bad. Um, but if I hold on to something like this Gary fish, it will rot eventually and then it'll make me sick. So now, are you going to let me build the thing that I want to build? Tools scanner. Ooh, neat. Uh, the handheld spectroscope scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Ooh, we can learn stuff about the wildlife too? That is so freaking cool. Can I I'll put that? No, I want to equip that. There we go. And then that should be good. I already got my fins equipped. Whoop, nope, that's not what I want to do. So how do we scan stuff? I want to I scan you. Can I scan? I want to learn more about you guys. A gasopod. Scanning. Am I scanning you? I don't know if I'm scanning you right now. Ready to scan. Ugh. Whoa. I can see its insides. Oh, it's, it's actually going up on the screen. No, no, don't, don't poo on me. Damn diarrhea monsters, I just want to learn about you. Yeah! Entry added to the encyclopedia. I have an encyclopedia? That's probably not very waterproof. See if we can find one of those. Yeah, there it is. There's one. What are you? You are a solar panel fragment. That seems useful. I'm going to scan you real quick. Much faster than that giant diarrhea monster. Uh, solar panel fragment scanned. Overall progress, 50%. Oh, okay. So I don't just find the blueprints. I need to, like, build up to them. So I need to find two solar panel um, data, whatever they are, is data fragments. And then I'll be able to build a solar panel. And I guess that's going to help me generate energy. Because I noticed in, uh, in Bertha, she has, like, tubes, like, giant batteries that she runs on. And I'm guessing once she runs out of that, uh, we don't have any more energy. So we probably can't use our fabricator or anything like that. And uh, that would suck. That would suck massive wang, so that that's an angry noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm, calm those titties. Calm those titties. I'm just I'm just suffocating here, okay? I'm just I'm just drowning. I swear when you're swimming around, you see them all over the freaking place, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be found. Maybe we should go check out that crash that we saw earlier? 
that would probably be a place to find one, right? Of course, I would have to understand where the hell I am in this game to actually go back and find it. And, uh, and that's not so easy. Getting your bearings underwater when everything looks the exact freaking same is really difficult. I hope you can make, like, a compass or something like that. That'd be really useful. Hey, there's another one, or is that the same one? I honestly don't know. Do they, do they disappear? Sea Glide Fragment. Okay. I want to know about the Sea Glide. Sea Glide Fragment scanned overall progress 50%. Okay, so we're, we're half, halfway there for two things. If I can get one thing in this episode, I'll be pretty happy. I see another one. Oh, I found my way back. I wonder if that's gonna be radioactive. This is really only one way to find out. Where are you? Are you Sea Glide? Sea Glide! Sea Glide Fragment. Boop. Uh, Fragment scanned unlocked the Sea Glide. Okay, so now I really want to know what a Sea Glide is. It sounds useful, so let's check. Uh, data banks, no, blueprints. Blueprints, solar panel is up there. Sea Glide would be down here somewhere. Is that it? Sea Glide. Converts torque into thrust underwater via, oh, okay. It's one of those things that you grab onto when it swims around with you like hooked up to it. That will be super useful for running away from stuff and not drowning. I can already see its advantages. Is that another one or is that the same one? It's another one. Maybe? Sea glide fragment. I think I already got that, yeah. No, oh, okay. It was another one. I can use, I can scan stuff to, uh, to just get metal from it, I guess. Interesting, so what's in here? This, oh, there's an egg over there. That's probably not a good thing. Open. Ooh. That is cool. Okay, we're gonna get a deep breath and check this out. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. There's three things on top of it. I didn't even realize, so I was right. This is a good place to find stuff. Sea Glide, once again. Can I, I can't, I can't scan it. Okay, what about you? You're a solar panel? I want that. I want, I want the solar panel. There we go, give me that. I guess you need to be facing the front. Yeah, here we go. Now we can make a solar panel, solar panel. I guess those are like the easy ones to find, and if you don't, I guess if you don't, um, yeah, that's not gonna give me anything for some reason. There we go, just give us some titanium. So now I'm gonna get another breath, and then we're gonna explore the inside. Also gonna eat something, because I'm freaking hungry here. Okay, can we eat a cured peeper and drink some water? There we go, okay. So let's see what's inside this. It looks like a room that completely blew off the side of the Aurora, and I have no idea what to expect. Sea Glide Fragment, okay, that's a little bit disappointing. Can I get something cool, please? Essentially just titanium. Sealed door, cut to open access. Oh, man. So if I can get a welder, I can I can get in there? Is this just the back way? Like, is this just gonna be another exit, or can I get deeper inside? Ooh, no, I can get deeper inside. Oh, whoa. Okay, hey, that's a dead end, but that's still really freaking cool. Is there anything Sea Glide Fragment in the corner by the looks of it? I need to keep an eye on my oxygen. Whoa! A desk! Of oxygen I'm scanning a desk! Does that mean I can get a desk? Oh, I could probably put that in my base! That's really cool! I can get furniture and stuff like that from these. Okay, no, no, I don't, I don't want to drown. I don't want to drown! So I can't scan this stuff. Whoa! Whoa, hold on. Is that, that's another person. I've never seen a person in this game before. I've only ever seen the protagonist's face because of the trailer. So, could there be other survivors out there? That is so freaking cool, look at that. I cannot believe that. Okay, that is awesome, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna drown again first. Okay, there we go, some air. And then I'm gonna end this episode of Subnautica here, guys. And once again, I don't know if this is gonna be a really long video. I get carried away playing this game because it is so freaking cool. Like, we didn't even really accomplish that much this episode. I only made a scanner and some fins and gathered a few things, but it's still a ton of fun and we're learning a little bit more about the game. So I'm really hoping that over the next three or four episodes, I'm gonna be able to gather up enough resources and enough things to be able to start exploring further out. I might even be able to repair Bertha, uh, cut up that sealed door, see what's inside, and I guess if I can make a radiation suit, I could start getting closer to the Aurora and maybe get some more answers, stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to it, so hopefully you guys are still enjoying Subnautica. It's like I said, I want to make this a long-lasting series, but I can only do that if you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to keep an eye on the episodes to make sure they're still doing well and that people are enjoying it, but I'm definitely 
definitely having a lot of fun. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Um, so that elf looks a little bit, uh, let's say radical. He looks a little bit dangerous. He kind of has TNT. I guess he is technically disgruntled. Oh shit! <laughs>